What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, and as you do on the channel, we check out a lot of keyboards. But today, we're going to be checking out probably one of my all-time favorites. This is the Lowfree Dot, a wireless compact mechanical keyboard with LED lights. This thing is definitely one of a kind, it's a rare breed, that could be used on your Mac, your PC, your phone, anything like that. Let's check it out. So taking a look at this, one of the things the Lowfree Dot does really well is embodies that classic retro typewriter look to this, all while staying very modern looking at the same time. So I'm a big fan of that. It just looks so classy and sleek at the same time. The unit I have here, as you can see, is in all black, accented nicely by a red backspace key. Now to kind of pay homage to that typewriter look, they have very unique keycaps on these. They are round, and I will admit at first they were kind of tough to adjust to when typing. But what's really cool is with the LED lights behind it, it kind of casts this like halo around the circular keys and it just looks really cool with the lights on. So the round keycaps is definitely something new for me. But when you take a look at the bottom of the key, it still does fit any really cherry compatible stem. Taking a look around it though, the only thing really going on is on the right side of the keyboard. The first switch is going to be toggling between Windows and Android devices if you want to use it with that. Or you can switch it to the right side and use it with your, your MacBook or your iPhone if you like. And the switch in the middle here is for turning your Bluetooth on and on. So yes, it can connect wirelessly to your devices via Bluetooth. But don't worry whether you're using this on your Mac or your PC, there is both the Windows key and the Command key to fit for both needs. And that's something you rarely find ever. Or if you want to use a wire, you can with the micro USB slot on top. One little nice touch is the fact that the micro USB cable is L-shaped. So you can just plug it in and it'll naturally go out the back of the keyboard. You won't have to worry about it bending or anything like that. Then on the bottom, you do have four rubber pads to prevent scratching your desktop, plus the rubber feet that are about an inch high-ish to elevate the keyboard for when you're typing. And two quick things before we move on, when you're adjusting the LED brightness, all you have to do is press function and F5 and F6. That'll turn the brightness between one and three of the light levels. I think the lights aren't too bright and they're not too dull. It hits a nice sweet spot. And if you're pairing this via Bluetooth, you'll see on the one, two, and three character keys, all you have to do is press function and that'll start to enable the Bluetooth pairing. It connected to my phone pretty much almost instantly. It popped up right away. I mean, I don't think you're gonna need to use this on a phone, you can. Probably best for pairing it with your Bluetooth enabled PC, or if you wanna use it with a laptop, you definitely can. But throughout my testing, I didn't notice any input lag or anything like that. It just connected right away. Now we're gonna take a look under the keycaps here. And this unit has Gateron blue switches. These blue switches are are very clicky and tactile, which is gonna be help emulate that kind of retro typewriter feel to it. So I like the choice there. And the little LED light itself is embedded on the top of the switch. I said it earlier, but it's very rare that you will find a wireless mechanical keyboard like this, especially one that looks this unique. And I do it in all my keyboard videos. I'll do a sound test for you guys so you can hear how these Gateron blue switches sound in your low-free dot keyboard. So with all things considered for this, this low free dot keyboard is probably one of my favorites and it's definitely one of the most unique ones that I've come across. Right now on their Indiegogo, you can pick it up. It's not really available yet for purchase for $80, but once it retails, it's gonna be over hundred. So I highly recommend jumping on this now for that price cut while you can. Personally, I'm a big fan of the all black model with the red backspace button, but you can also have different colors to pick from, which is really cool. They have a white body, they have a red body, which looks very sleek. There's also different colored keycaps for the keyboard as well. So just a lot of cool customization here for an already cool looking keyboard. So in the end for 80 bucks, if you choose to hop on it for the Indiegogo deal, you're getting an outstanding keyboard that really strikes a chord with me. It is just something very, very neat that I've come across here. However, I would not be using this or recommending it for gaming. You know, if you're big into gaming, it's not probably gonna be the keyboard for you due to the layout being kind of different than what you're used to. 
If you take a look at the WASD, the W is just slightly more to the left than you're probably going to be used to on your keyboard. And the little cluster on the bottom right hand of the keyboard with the shift key, instead of being, you know, the, the width of two keys, it's just the one round key. And your little arrows here are definitely off center when comparing the up and down arrow. But other than that, that's my really only complaint. I'm not even going to say that the keycaps themselves are a complaint because that's the look you're going for with this keyboard. I did mention it'll take some time to get used to, but I mean, honestly, this is something really cool for enthusiasts out there. This could be a really cool kind of like office setting kind of keyboard. The guy around blues might be kind of loud for people around you, but I think this is a best fit for that kind of setting. And since it's compact, it makes it nice and portable if you're taking it on the go. It's just really, really great. I don't have really any minor complaints or major complaints either. And I think for that price point, you're just getting such a great value here. I'm a big, big fan of the low free dot keyboard, one of my all time favorites. If you want to check it out, I'll put the link for this in the description down below so you could hop on their Indiegogo deal. If you like this video, guys, give it a big thumbs up to show your support. If you want to enter the most wanted tech giveaway going on right now, I'll put the link to that in the description down below. Feel free to follow me on Twitter at randomfrankp. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. All right, guys, thanks for checking it out. I'm Random Frank P. Have a good day.